Hello and welcome back to chapter 6 in Computers and Healthcare. We are picking up on page 89 with encoder and grouper. So healthcare facilities must assign diagnosis and procedure codes to every patient encounter. These are the codes that are submitted to the insurance company on the bill and that's how your hospital or your physician office gets reimbursed. So the encoder is a specialty software used by coders to select the appropriate code for the diagnosis and procedure supported by the health record. There are two types of encoders. First is rules-based encoder. It requires the user to type in the name or portion of the name of the diagnosis or procedure. This entry into the encoder generates a list of suggestions from which the encoder selects. For example, if the coder types in PNEU, the encoder may suggest pneumonia or pneumonitis. From there, the coder scrolls down until the proper code is selected. Our second is an automated codebook encoder. It lists diagnosis and procedures in alphabetical order, much like the alphabetic index located in the ICD-10 CM and the CPT codebooks. This similarity eases the transition from the book to the encoder. The grouper is a, com a computer program that uses specific data elements to assign the diagnostic and procedural codes entered into the encoder into appropriate Medicare severity diagnostic related groups, these are your MSDRGs, or other diagnostic related groups. The grouper uses the appropriate grouping software for the insurer assigned to the patient. The most common groupers are the MSDRG grouper and ambulatory payment classification, your APC grouper. So your DRGs are on the inpatient side, your APCs are on the outpatient side. However, other insurers, including some Medicaid programs, have developed their own groupers for use in determining payment to the healthcare facility. The MSDRG or other DRG indicates the amount of reimbursement owed to the healthcare organization from the insurer. The grouper software is connected to the billing system, so it is important that HIM staff have a strong relationship with the billing and finance personnel. One of the biggest advantages in the use of an encoder or grouper is prompts. For example, if a higher paying MSDRG can be assigned with the addition of the specific diagnosis, specific procedure, complication and comorbidity, or ma major complication and comorbidity, then the computer will ask the coder if any of them are present. The grouper allows the coder to resequence the principal diagnosis when more than one diagnosis meets the definition of principal diagnosis. The coding guidelines allow the healthcare facility to choose as many of the diagnoses as the, as the principal as long as it qualifies. The encoder can assign the ICD-10, CM, ICD-10 PCS, CPT, and HCPCS codes required on the cl patient claim. Dropping down, coders are also permitted to manually enter codes into the information system rather than looking them up each time. For more frequent diagnosis, such as diabetes or dehydration, this is a more efficient method. Once entered, the information system will then confirm and validate the code. So some common data elements in an encoder grouper are emitting diagnosis, principal diagnosis, secondary diagnosis, principal procedure, secondary procedure, age of patient or date of birth, discharge disposition, gender, patient name, health record number, and account number. The encoder and grouper are usually linked to the hospital's financial information system so that the codes can be automatically transferred to the information system for billing. Without this link, the coder would have to re-enter codes into the financial system. This double entry leaves room for data error entry, which could in turn cause problems with billing and reimbursement. The encoder or grouper does not contribute heavily to reporting. Rather, the encoder is more about assigning codes and MSDRGs using edits to assist the coder in proper assignment of codes and other information transferred to the hospital financial system. However, if needed, the information system may be used to generate a report listing of all the codes and respective MSDRGs or APCs assigned. All right, and so we'll pick up with um, cancer and other registries in our next lecture.